When it comes to the man Nelson Mandela, I have to say, to be perfectly honest with you, I only know the basics of his life. I know that he went to jail for a very long time, and I know that he became president of South Africa and changed many, many lives, and that he just passed away recently, just a few weeks ago. It's very timely that this movie would come out around the time that Nelson Mandela would pass away. There is a new movie about him, I should mention it, I did see it tonight. It is called Mandela Long Walk to Freedom. And yes, it's a brand new movie starring Iris Alba, who we all know from Pacific Rim and the Thor movies, but he's playing the man himself, Nelson Mandela, and Naomi Harris, who is now the new Manny Penny in the Bond movies, is playing his wife, Winnie Mandela. And I was really interested to see this movie because, again, I don't know much about the man of, I don't know much about Nelson Mandela as, a, as all the details that went into his life. Now, this is a two hour and 20 minute film, and I think if you are like me and are unaware of his life or, or, or you've read about him and read books and probably even read the book that this movie is based on, this movie is a worthy film to remind us of a great man and it's a worthy testament to his life. It's, it's a film that really quite moved me and then I felt at the same time I was being taught about a man, about a life and all the journey that this man went through. Now, most of this movie is starts, I believe, in the early 1940s, and then it ends when, well, I shouldn't say what it, well, you know, I mean, like, am I spoiling anything? We all knew who Nelson Mandela was, and if we don't, it's good to see this film because you're going to learn a lot about the man. This is a movie that really examines his life. It's a very long movie, uh, but it's a movie that I wish was longer. I would have rather have seen a three-hour a three hour and 20 minute movie than just a two hour. I think there was a lot of information that could have been told. Uh, that's not saying the movie is bad. It's just saying that it feels a little rushed at times. And it sometimes I do have to mention that uh, it does follow in the standard trope of biopics, but that's not really a major complaint for me. It didn't really bother me that much because I was completely moved by this movie. I just wish it wasn't as, it wasn't as rushed because I think there's so much more to tell and I would have gladly paid to see a three hour and 20 minute film about this man. Again, because I really didn't know much about him, only the small details. And I think in the two hours and 20 minutes, I really can't complain. We did get a fabulous movie. This is one of the better films of 2013. Iris Alba, if he does not get nominated for an Academy Award, it'll be a crime against all things important. I think Naomi Harris does a great job. I have to say, the makeup when it came to Nelson Mandela was really, really good. I really like the transformation that Iris Alba made in this film. You really get a sense of the guy as a young man in the 1940s and then in the 1990s when he's older. Uh, one weird thing about it was the fact that Naomi Harris looked like she never, her character of Winnie Mandela, looked like she really never aged a day. And that's probably my major, major complaint about this movie. Naomi Harris is a very beautiful woman, but it just felt like I would have liked to have seen her progress into an older woman. But uh, again, not that important in the scheme of things because is this movie entertaining? Is this movie moving? Does it go, does it, does it, does it, is it boring? And I have to say, it is completely entertaining and completely fascinating. It's directed very well, the script is beautiful, and I have to say it looks really good. The production value is extremely high in this film. And I watched the entire credits at the end of the movie, and the credits at the end of the film mentioned the fact that this film was entirely shot in South Africa, and it looks like that. It's beautiful to look at. I, I, would, I would love to see at least, uh, you know, of course, Iris Alba be nominated for an Oscar. I would love to see the makeup be nominated for an Oscar. And I would love to see the cinematography be nominated for an Oscar. We'll have to see in just a few weeks. This is a really great film, and if you can find it, please check it out. Especially at the time right now where Nelson Mandela has passed away. And this is just a really great film to remind us about his life, what he did, the changes he made in his own country. And for a person that wasn't really uh, familiar with everything that he did, this is a great film to help me to learn and grow and to know this man better. And of course, I do want to mention there's a song by U2 at the end that I believe is nominated right now for a Golden Globe. That was a really great song. It's probably one of the best YouTube songs in a very, very long time. I, was very, I really like that song. So, all in all, this movie is great, and I give Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom, three and a half stars. Another thing I, would, I do want to mention that I was surprised that this movie, uh, of course it does say Mandela, so it is about Nelson Mandela, but it's also about Winnie Mandela and her participation in 
major changes that happen in South Africa. So, you know, we get kind of two biopics for the price of one. So that's pretty awesome too. Okay, I'm Movie Man Chad. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And if you enjoy this review, please click right here and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing many, many reviews. 2014 is coming up very soon. I look forward to seeing many, many movies, I should say, and then review them as well. I enjoy it. It's fun, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for watching again, and uh, how many times can I say thanks? But thank you, thank you, thank you, and peace, my friends. Happy New Year. Bye.